I'm going to just pull up a little bit, not very much, just like that to get out of my face. And do a little bit of that. Okay. So to start off our look today, I am going to be moving a lot of things around. I am going to be um, going and picking up some boxes uh, that I have stored at my mom's house and just moving um, a lot of things around. I'm just, it's gonna be a busy day. And since it's gonna be a busy day, I, I have told y'all before, I do not believe in going out with this situation. So it's going to be a maybe five, 10 minute phase, but I am gonna be putting on all of the same components that I use on the daily because that's the way I believe. So we're gonna start off using what I always use to moisturize, which is the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Rescue. Whenever putting moisturizer on your neck, make sure that you're always pushing upward because when people drag down, you're dragging down your skin and you see those necks on more mature ladies that are not, they don't look the best. And I think a lot of that is caused by the always dragging down or when people pinch their neck. I don't do that either. Next, I'm going to be putting on a few sprays of the Smashback, uh, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Now today we're gonna be using a new foundation that I have been hearing so much about and I thought, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go and pick it up because I wanna know what the deal is. So this is the L'Oreal Paris 24 Hour Foundation, the Infallible Pro Glow. And I got this in the color 206. I actually matched myself and I could have done a first impressions, but I actually used this yesterday for the first time. So if you can see this, I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, it is very runny um, this particular uh, foundation I had been using the Milani two-in-one foundation and love it I have no complaints about it I just kind of wanted to see what this is about so that's about how much I use and I'm going to just dot on my face like I always do It has SPF 15 on it and it says it is a radiant finish for normal and dry skin and it also says that it will wear up to 24 hours. If you want medium coverage you're going to want to do two applications. If you want high coverage you're going to do three applications but I don't want to wear all that makeup today. I just don't. I am running out of my naked um, full coverage weightless complete concealer but when you are paying how much is this like 24 dollars or it's a 20 something dollar concealer i am using every bit that is in this bottle so I always do this area right here just because I've told y'all before I was very bad and didn't wear my sunscreen so I cover up sunspots and I also just do that, that and I go ah, down the center of the nose. flower that you put at the top of your head I always just work it out so I did all that and now if you can tell it looks very dewy in these areas I am not 
a fan of dewy finishes. I'm just not. So I am going to go over top of that with the Even Touch Powder Foundation in number three by Milani. And I'm gonna grab just this uh, Morphe kind of powder brush. And set certain areas of my face. You always want to set under your eyes so that there's no creasing. And then I set my T-zone. Okay, so now I actually got this yesterday. I'm going to go ahead and come in a little bit. And I'm really excited because I've used it once. I mean, I, I could have done a first impressions yesterday because yesterday was the first time I had tried this. And I got the Benefit Cabrow. Anyways, it looks like that. And basically what it is, is you pull the little brush up and then you unscrew this and you have a little pomade. And so this is what I used yesterday and I love it so far. So let me go ahead and do my brows. If you want to see a full tutorial on my brows, let me know. I do an at-home wax that I get from Sally's. And like I say, I've always told y'all, if I can do it myself, I'll do it myself. But I've used this particular wax for years and I love it, so. If y'all want to see that, please leave me a comment down below and I will definitely film that for you. So I had gone into Ulta because I was running out, I'm, I'm getting pretty close to running out of my Urban Decay Weightless Full Coverage Concealer. Do you see that? Okay. You want to go ahead and probably comb through your brows first. but. I'm all out of order today. Usually I do my eyeshadow and brows and all that first, but I don't know what happened today. Anyways, I had gone in to get my weightless concealer because I am getting dangerously low, but I was I'm gonna try to use every bit of it, but once it's definitely out, I don't want to be getting up in the morning and oh, there's no more, you know. So I went to go get one and I've been looking at this because even though y'all know that I do my brows with a, just a matte eyeshadow. And I'm happy with the way that it comes out, but there's just times when I'm in a rush that that just takes a little too long. It just does, so. I, for this, it's just the colored pomade. I thought, well, that might be more efficient as far as my time is concerned. And I am not a morning person, let it be known. And so I don't want to get up in the morning and, you know, as quick as I can get my makeup done, I want to get my makeup done so that I'm out of there. So there you go. Brows are done. And again, that's that Benefit Cabral. I use number five. And um, yesterday when I went into Ulta, they have six colors. So there you have it. Now I'm going to go ahead and get out my... Morphe 350. I'm sorry, I lied. This is the 35K. And I'm not going to be picky about it. So we'll just go with this one. This is what we got first. I'm going to go in with one of my Wet n Wild uh, blending brushes. And I'm going to go into the second color right here. And I'm just going to go all over. Like I say, we're doing a five, 10 minute face. I'd say that when you start off doing this, it's gonna take 
closer to the 10, but you can get it to the five really quick. Actually, you know what? No, I'm, I don't wanna lie. If you do your brows and if you do eyeliner, which I will be doing, I'm gonna say it's gonna be 10 minutes. It's gonna be the full 10 minutes, so. And then I'm gonna go into the next color, which is gonna be this one in the middle. And that one's just gonna go in the crease. that that one right there crease and that one I'm gonna go ahead and just allow it all over the lid so there's that and now I'm gonna go ahead and use my this is my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Eyeliner in the color black. And I'm going to go ahead and try to zoom you in a little bit. Woo! Hello. It's very close. Okay, but I need a mirror. I want to do a wing, I always want to do a wing, but I'm in the mood to fix it. It doesn't work out. Yeah, girls, I'm going to go ahead and say this is going to be a 10 minute video for sure. to try it. Always relax your eyebrows because I always go like this and then you get it crooked. I don't know why this doesn't look as dark as the other one, but pretty good. I'm going to go with my flat elf brush and my ear sponge. Shade and Light palette. I'm going to get this corner right here subconscious using my NARS Eater brush. And now I'm going to get the shade and light brush and I'm going to go, I'm going to go into that meadow color.
you always do this right here, just kind of. And then you can just wipe all that bakage away. So now we are done with that, and we're going to go in using the we go in with the Morphe 9B. This was the original blush palette. I'm gonna go in with that one in the middle. Done, done, done with that. And now we are going to go in with my favorite mascara, brand new. No lashes today because I'm just giving them a break. So now, it's probably would have taken me a lot less time had I not been putting up the whole time, but that's who I am, so I'm sorry. I'm going to go ahead and line my lips using uh, the Jordana Rock and Rose. Looks like that. Next butter lipstick in pops. Looks like that. Okay. Ta-da! 